Hey guys, André here. Welcome to my studio. Um, so, first of all, my apologies because of the summer clothes, because I'm technically on vacations, um, which, by the way, I was on a diet and it's not been easy uh, to be on a diet on vacations. So no jokes about my muscle, but okay, let's go to the important stuff. In this video, we'll cover uh, only the acoustic treatment, uh, acoustic panels, and the studio monitors, uh, because there's a lot to say about it. I know that some of you will not take this subject so serious, uh, but some will, uh, and that's okay, that's fine. Um, so I'll try uh, to make everything simple, not a lot of uh, technical language here. Uh, but I will be more in depth in some subjects uh, because they are important. So, uh, and this is one of the important ones. Actually, I believe it's the most important one, uh, which is the acoustic treatment and the monitors, the studio monitors. Uh, and why? Uh, because you can have all the crazy sp expensive um, analog gear, uh, digital stuff, whatever you want. But the thing is, all of your decisions will be based uh, on what you are hearing, right? Uh, so that means that if your studio monitors are crappy studio monitors and if your room uh, doesn't allow you to hear uh, the way it's, it's supposed to hear uh, your music, uh, your decisions uh, will be bad decisions. Uh, so this is uh, probably in my experience, okay, this is just my opinion. Um, this is the most important thing: is the acoustic treatment and the studio monitors. Okay, so without further ado, let's see and let's talk about it. So, acoustic treatment and why do you need it? Every time you have a, a sound source, what happens is the sound wave uh, go against the walls, uh, the floor, the ceilings. Uh, and the ceilings, the walls will reflect the sound uh, and will come to you again uh, and to, against the speaker again and will bounce in other walls and will be a mess. Uh, so this room is not like dead, uh, it's kind of neutral. If I didn't have uh, all these panels here, you will not hear my voice like you're hearing uh, now. Uh, I'll put some pictures somewhere in the screen uh, so you can see uh, all this stuff here. If you are on a budget and you or you don't want to to spend money uh, in acoustic panels, which are very important, extremely important, uh, you can use carpets like I have here, uh, curtains that I will show you in the, in the other room, uh, a couch. So you can use a lot of stuff uh, that can absorb sound uh, and you don't need to spend a lot of money. Uh, you can build your own uh, acoustic panels. I already built it. I'm not using now, but uh, I build uh, a few. It's not expensive uh, and it's really important. Uh, and I'll show you the difference. So this is a room that are treated with acoustic treatment, okay? And I'll show you the difference of speaking here and speaking in the other room, uh, there has no treatment at all, okay? So I think I will uh, take my smartphone uh, so you can hear. So come with me. Okay guys, uh, this used to be uh, my live room that I'm trying to film uh, with my smartphone. It still have uh, still has a few panels here, uh, but as you can see, I took off uh, the other ones, which is a mess now. Uh, but the curtains, as you can see, um, I have them like like you can like that, because every time I wanted uh, less uh, reverberation from the room, I just open the curtains, and. Uh, it makes a huge difference um, in, in the overall room sound. 
So here, uh, I hope you can hear. Hey, oh, hey, check a sound. So it's kind of impossible here uh, to make any any kind of sound. Well, and as you can see, this is a. Uh, it might not appear on the on the smartphone, but it's quite a big room. Um, and it has a few treatment, but as you can see, it's not even close of enough. So let's see the difference. So here, hey, check, hey. And now let's come here. Yeah, there's my lights. Hey, check, hey, check, sound. Hey, check. So as you can see, it makes a huge difference uh, having a great uh, acoustic treatment in your room or having a poor acoustic treatment in your room because it's impossible to do whatever you want to do in that room. Um, so how do you treat your room? Uh, so if you are on a budget or you just don't want to spend a lot of money, um, which I can say I can tell you how much I, I I've got here, but it's somewhere between one k and two two k. I I lost the count uh, at some point. So uh, it's around that uh, this this value these numbers that you're gonna spend uh, for a, a room like this, five meters long, f four meters uh, wide. Uh, that's about how I, I spend. What you can do is, uh, like I said before, using carpets, uh, curtains, uh, whatever you can use to absorb the sound, uh, so they so so the sound don't hit all the walls and come back and go again. Uh, so you can actually hear what's happening uh, without all these uh, crazy waves going to your ears. So, how do you know where to put your uh, acoustic panels? Uh, so, f before that, uh, you need to put your studio monitors uh, in its place. Uh, and if you, you might already know, um, you need to make this triangle, okay? Uh, so, the distance uh, between the speakers and the speakers and my ears are exactly the same. Uh, as uh, the height of the speaker, so the cone and the of the speaker and my ear is at the same height. Okay, uh, so once you you have your monitors in its place, it's time to put uh, your panels in its place. Why? Because you will treat the, the first the, the early reflections, which are the the first reflections that goes. Uh, to your ears after hitting the, the, the walls or the ceiling or whatever and for that you need a mirror so okay guys uh, I already have the mirror here um, the camera is right in my spot uh, uh, right in the place where I hear my, my mixings where I mix uh, and at the same height of the monitors which are here I hope you can see well um, so uh, let's just make one thing clear. Uh, there are companies uh, that are actually make uh, studies for studios uh, uh, and tell you where do you have to put the, the, your panels and what kind of panels, okay? Uh, so this is like a do-it-yourself uh, and it works, uh, so it's fine. But I just want you to know that there are actually companies that probably makes a, a great work uh, doing this. So uh, now I need you to sit uh, right in the spot where you are will be mixing, okay? And ask some uh, some someone uh, to use this mirror. Uh, and what you're gonna do is uh, once you are sit in your spot, uh, the person with the mirror will use the mirror until you what you see the monitors will which will probably will be somewhere here i believe uh, so when you see the the the, the monitors uh, this is the the spot uh, when 
where the first reflections will happen, okay? Uh, so you want to, to put the first panels uh, right here. The, the mirror has to be straight. You cannot do this or that or that, okay? It really has to be straight. Um, so if you are watching the, the, the monitor, here is the first panel. Uh, and you have to do this in this wall, in the other wall, uh, the wall behind you, and the ceilings. It's exactly the same uh, process, okay? Uh, so once you have this uh, done, uh, you just need to fill uh, the room uh, with the, um, the panels. Uh, the ceiling is very important too. Please do not forget the ceilings. One thing you, you can do uh, to know where to place uh, your uh, panels is by clapping your hands. Now I can hear not nothing, uh, but uh, as you heard in the other room, uh, when you have a lot of reverb, you will hear uh, the, the points where the reflections are happening. Uh, and just put there, you have to manage between uh, putting the um, acoustic panels in the right places and in a way uh, they are uh, kind of pretty you know uh, so you might want to use some diffuser too which you can I hope you can see right there okay uh, what this do is really simple um, actually this is absorber and diffuser too, as you can see, because of this design. Uh, but the diffusers uh, makes the sound, as soon as the, the sound hits the diffuser, he diffuses the wave sound uh, for, for all the other place, instead of reflecting the sound for you again. Uh, so they go uh, all around where I have uh, all the acoustic panels, which will be absorbing all these waves, okay? Uh, and that's all about um, absorbers. So, uh, now that you have your panels installed, uh, it's time to treat uh, your low frequencies, uh, your room for, for the low frequencies. Um, so, as you can see, because you cannot see that side, uh, I have this corner filled with the bass traps and this corner too. Uh, and the low frequency, which makes a huge difference, by the way, uh, because the low frequency is a pain in the ass to treat. Uh, so, the corners, because the low frequencies uh, have this tendency uh, to go to the corners, uh, and if you put some monitors uh, playing some music, uh, and if you stay right in the center of the room, you hear uh, the, the music, and go uh, to, the, to a corner, and you will hear a lot a lot of low end try this at, uh, at your place and you'll, you'll see if you are in the center you hear the music like normal and if you go to the corner man that's a lot of low end uh, so you need to put uh, you need to put there uh, the bass traps and the, the carpets because the low frequency goes down uh, too uh, and this makes a huge difference man uh, these carpets mainly this carpet here uh, makes a huge difference uh, uh, and I, I still remember when I put my monitors here man pff, it, it was a, a lot of low end uh, and as soon as I put this this carpet it was uh, a, a huge difference uh, with the bass traps uh, so right now it's perfect and that's all about uh, the acoustic treatment uh, so let's talk about monitors so about studio monitors um, so that's a lot there's a lot to say uh, and at the same time not much to say uh, so uh, I already told you the importance of the studio monitors I could make a video just about the studio monitor so which I'll not do right now, so I'll keep it simple. Uh, so first thing uh, is, can you use headphones instead of studio monitors? Yes, you can. 
definitely you definitely can uh, the thing is is the same thing no it isn't you can do your job and the, the, the and don't let uh, your budget stop stop you to make anything okay if you don't have the money uh, for the acoustic panels or in the studio monitors uh, use whatever you can but with that said uh, if you can't afford the um, studio monitors go with headphones if you can go with the studio monitors uh, so if I were picking a new studio monitors today uh, it will be really easy for me uh, I will pick a song that I will I'm really familiar with um, and I'll put it in, put it in a pan or something uh, and now because you know there's not easy to get access to uh, all the um, the studio monitors available there's a very big list of brands and uh, models so uh, you have to go to your music store and you have to pick uh, uh, the ones y you get there right uh, so I will put a song that I'm really familiar with in a pan and I will go I will go to a music store and I will listen to that song uh, through all the studio monitors available and uh, it's really like uh, the the ones that have more definition uh, that you can hear clearly uh, on all the frequency range um, and the ones that give you more pleasure the, to hear the, the song uh, it's the one I, I will pick it's, it's that, sim that simple um, I'm, I, I'm using the Focal CMS50 which are already discontinued uh, now I believe it's the shape the Focal Shape 50 I want to give you a guide uh, so you can choose your monitors I believe that um, to start to start and you can uh, like me I have this pair for more than 10 years now uh, and they are working perfectly uh, and I love them uh, and I already heard Adam and other brands Yamaha um, which are great monitors okay uh, but I'm used to these ones uh, and it's kind of hard uh, to, ch to change uh, to make a change then. so I believe the, uh, the the guide is the, like the price range uh, which I believe if you spend uh, 600 euros uh, for a pair between the 600 and 1k at least you'll have a, a cool pair of studio monitors okay um, I, I believe I paid 1.2 or 1.3 K uh, for this pair uh, but man you just uh, you buy whatever you can okay uh, don't let the budget stop stops you if you can't buy a 600 a pair uh, you buy a 300 my buy whatever uh, you can buy okay uh, the important thing is do the stuff you like uh, and experiment okay um, and, and I believe that's all um, cover so I hope this video helped you to make your home studio um, this uh, I have to say again that's all uh, my opinion and only my opinion uh, based on in my experience um, so if it helps you awesome uh, if you have um, more ideas uh, that you want to share just write in the comments because um, I believe everyone that are watching th this video uh, will kind of need uh, every feedback uh, that we can okay uh, so guys uh, next chapter or next video we'll talk about uh, audio interface and we'll probably start recording uh, or preparing a session and recording some guitars I, I don't know I will see you later okay so guys uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not uh, and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post the next video okay guys it was a pleasure to talk to you see you in the next video cheers man